Hey everyone, we're going to evaluate the integral analytically using tabular integration. Um, the integrals from 0 to 4, we have x squared cosine of pi divided by 2x dx. So uh, for tabular integration, and uh, also known as the shortcut, we're going to let our f of x equals x squared. Then we're going to list all its derivatives. g of x. We're going to let, let that be cosine of pi divided by 2x and list all its integrals. So let's start with that. We're going to write f of x and list all the derivatives. So the first thing you're going to do is just write down x squared. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. Derivative of 2 is 0. Now for g of x, we're listing all the integrals. So um, just copy down what you have originally, cosine of pi divided by 2x, and then um, we're going to do the uh, integrals. So this is going to be 2 pi sine of pi divided by 2x, and the next one's going to be negative 4 uh, pi squared, um, cosine of pi divided by 2x and then finally we're going to have uh, the last one's going to be negative 8 pi cubed times sine of pi divided by 2x. Now the next step is we're just going to multiply uh, these like that and also uh, for the terms this is going to be plus minus plus. So we multiply these two. We're going to have, for example, the first one we multiply these two, it's going to be positive. But when we multiply these two, it's going to be uh, also positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then we multiply these two, it's going to end up being negative because we have a negative here but a positive there. So I'm going to write this out. And so our integral is going to be, I'm just going to call this whole thing i just to save some space. So your integral is going to be 2x squared divided by pi sine of pi divided by 2x plus uh, 6 or 8. What is this? 2 times 4. So 8 pi divided by pi squared cosine of pi divided by 2x minus 16 pi squared sine of uh, pi divided by 2x. All right. Now all we have to do is, let's see, this one should be cubed. I knew something was off. All right. Now that we have that, we can evaluate it. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a 2 divided by pi. So I'm going to do this equals 2 divided by pi. And then we're, that would give us, makes it a little easier to integrate or, or to evaluate. x squared sine of pi divided by 2x plus 4x divided by pi cosine of pi divided by 2x. Let's do this. All right. Uh, minus 8 pi uh, squared. And this is going to be sine pi divided by 2x. And then we're evaluating from 0 to 4. <coughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my 4 and um, evaluate this. Plug in 4, subtract it from your 0. So what you get when you do this is going to be uh, 2 divided by pi, whoops, 2 divided by pi, and then we're going to have 16 sine of 2 pi plus 16 divided by pi cosine of 2 pi minus 8 divided by pi squared 
times sine of 2 pi. And then uh, for the 0, you're just going to have 0 minus 0 minus 0. All right, so this part goes away. Now, sine of 2 pi is 0. So basically what we have is a cosine of 2 pi is 1. So we have 2 pi, or 2 divided by pi, sorry. 2 divided by pi, this times 16 divided by pi. And that's going to equal 32 divided by pi squared. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.